Update 4 on Hurricane Danny, a Category 2 storm in the Atlantic with winds of 105 miles an hour and a pressure of 976 millibars. It's movement west-northwest at 10 miles per hour, position 14 degrees north, 48.2 degrees west, the strongest storm since Gonzalo. It's expected to move towards the west-northwest and probably peak very soon actually before gradually weakening and then affecting the Leeward Islands and then onto the Greater Antilles as a tropical storm storm we expect by the time it gets to Hispaniola for instance it will be fairly weak um, but by the time it reaches the Lesser Antilles um, it could still be a strong tropical storm so do watch out for that in the next four days or less um, of course we may be seeing warnings um, watches and warnings in effect very soon but at the moment no warnings in effect right now but that's the situation there sea surface temperatures are fairly warm Still, around 26 or 27 degrees Celsius, not far from 28 degree waters. Uh, much warmer waters towards the Western Atlantic if the storm makes it that far, though it's pretty uncertain at this point whether it will. That will probably depend entirely on whether it strikes ma major land masses or not. Uh, wind shear is going to be a big problem very soon though, that's probably why the storm is expected to weaken very soon, and if it's not the wind shear shown on that graphic, it's going to be dry air, copious amounts of that also lying to the north and west of Danny, um, which will eliminate its hurricane status in the next two or three days we expect. Latest satellite image there shows that Danny is looking fairly good. You can see a very small eye and a very small wind field at that as well. Danny is a small hurricane indeed. Um, we've mentioned it several times in previous videos. Um, it looks very small if you placed it in the Gulf, for instance. It almost fits inside the eye of Hurricane uh, of Typhoon at Sarni a few days ago. A dry air lying off towards the west there. You can see it pretty well there, marked in the yellow areas. Um, but the storm generally moving to the west-northwest um, and not looking bad for a small little hurricane there. The HWRF model predicts the storm to move towards the northwest. Um, it's actually a little bit different to the NHC's model, taking it off to the north, remaining, sorry, remaining a tropical storm north of Puerto Rico, and then heading possibly towards the Bahamas. So we'll be watching that one out and um, see whether that happens or not. But there we are. Uh, elsewhere around the world, it's a very active Pacific. Goni, a Category 2 typhoon over the Philippines. Atsani remains a Category 3 storm near the Japanese islands. Tropical Depression 4, Tropical Storm Kilo has just formed in the Central Pacific. Could be a big problem for Hawaii. Invest 95E is expected to form in the next five days. And Invest 97L, located near Bermuda, also with a high chance of development still. And we could also be watching some African waves in the next few days as well for further the development in the Atlantic believe it or not so lots of activity in the northern hemisphere right now 55 tropical storms have formed so far in 2015 around the world Danny was number 54 30 of those have gone on to become category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher and 20 have gone on to become category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus that's just one away from the whole of the year 2010 worldwide you can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com, the main place to be for all the goings-ons around the world, and of course it's tracking map. You can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, search Force 13 all in text for those, and you can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat on there and to join a discussion with fellow storm trackers. That's also the place to be if you want to be on our live events. Uh, that's going to be this evening again, same time, same place as last night, 11pm UTC, that's 7pm Eastern Time on August the 21st, that's today of course. Um, and that, we'll be talking about Danny and everything else that's going on around the world in the world of storms. But for now that's all.